A circle is inside a square. The radius of the circle is increasing at a rate of 5 meters per minute, and the sides of the square are decreasing at a rate of 5 meters per minute. When the radius is 3 meters and the sides are 23 meters, how fast is the area outside the circle but inside the square changing? And we're told to round to two decimal places. To begin, we'll use a diagram below to set up the problem. We need to be careful. We don't want to use a diagram that looks like this. We do not know any relationship between the radius of the circle and the sides of the square. We just know the circle is inside the square. So again, we use this diagram for the setup. And because we're looking for how fast the area outside the circle and inside the square is changing, we're looking for how fast the blue area is changing, which is equal to the area of the square minus the area of the circle. So we'll say the area, the blue area, is equal to the area of the square, which is s squared, and then minus the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. And now let's list all of the given information. Because the radius of the circle is increasing at a rate of five meters per minute, we know dr dt is equal to positive five meters per minute. And because the sides of the square are decreasing at a rate of five meters per minute, we know ds dt equals negative five meters per minute. We're trying to find how fast the area outside the circle and inside the square is changing, which is dA dt. So we're looking for dA dt when the radius is three meters and the sides of the square are 23 meters. And now for the next step, we differentiate both sides of the area formula with respect to t. Differentiating the left side with respect to t, the derivative of a with respect to t is dA dt. Equals on the right side, the derivative of s squared with respect to t is 2s times ds dt. And then minus the derivative of pi r squared with respect to t is 2 pi r times dr dt. And now we can determine dA dt by subbing in the value for s, ds dt, r, and dr dt. dA dt equals two times s, which is 23, times ds dt, which is negative five, minus two times pi times r, which is three, times dr dt, which is positive five. Simplifying on the right, the exact value of dA dt is negative 230 minus 30 pi. And this is how fast the area is changing with respect to time, and therefore the units are meters squared per minute. The decimal approximation for dA dt, because we are told to round in two decimal places, is negative 324.25 meters squared per minute. This is how fast the area outside the circle and inside the square is changing when the radius is three meters, the sides are 23 meters, and the radius is increasing at a rate of five meters per minute, and the sides of the square are decreasing at a rate of five meters per minute. And because the ADT is negative, we know that the blue area is decreasing at a rate of 324.25 square meters per minute. But again, because the statement below just says rate of change, we do include the negative. Our final answer is negative 324.25 square meters per minute. I hope you found this helpful.